Here's your precision weather forecast. Well, there were some showers out there today. They just weren't really in our area. Southern Sampson County had some earlier, and they're farther south than that right now. There's some showers out in Charlotte. There's showers up in Virginia, but just none here. All right, so here's the weather map. Let's pick it up at 6 a.m. As usual, not a whole lot going on. But <coughs> I swear a moth just flew into my throat. <laughs> I was going to swat it away, but I thought, oh, that would not be appropriate for TV, but I guess it's more appropriate to swallow it. Uh, <clears throat> we get into the afternoon, and as you can see, there's a lot more green south of the triangle and southeast, so we will continue. Now, don't bring me any water because it's already down my, my gullet. No, you have more. All right, so let me just drink this since he brought this to me. All right, <clears throat> that's a little better. All right, let's talk about Emily. We mentioned it at the top of the newscast. 40 and 50% chances through the weekend. We do lower the rain chances and eventually eliminate them as we get into next week. Of course, we'll continue to keep an eye on Emily through the weekend and early next week. The good news about next week is that we have lower humidity. And sadly, we're out of time, so we can not comment at all about what oh, just happened you know, the weather. Bugs have plenty of protein, though. I mean, at least that's a positive, right? Yeah, but I don't think it went in your stomach. I think it went in your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it, it flew in front of me once, and I saw it, and I was like, okay, exactly. maybe that was my imagination. That looks tasty. Second time, I was like, okay, it's there, but I'm not going to do that on TV, and then it flew into my mouth. The good news is this <laughs> won't make it on YouTube ever. You what? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wes. Okay, Wes. All right.